if you look at this video, you're a little confused as to how these compound inequalities are set up. It's, it's different. Um, and so let's, let's take it a little bit slower. The free chlorine, so just the stuff that's floating in the pool, uh, should be between one and three parts per million. What that means is you don't want the pool to be too chlorine-y. And you also don't want, you want to have enough chemical in the pool so that when somebody pees in it, it's not super duper gross. So we want to have some chlorine, but not too much that it burns your eyes. Um, and one to three parts per million apparently is the right amount. So if we had two parts per million, that'd be good. If we had 2.8, that'd be fine. If we had 1.6, that would be okay as well. And so somewhere, somewhere in between one and three would be a correct amount. And so X is somewhere in between one and three. And then this word inclusive, we are including one or three. It could be exactly one part per million. They'd be on the low side, but it could be. And it could be exactly three parts per million. Your eyes are going to get a little sore after a while, but it's okay. Not going to burn out. And so we're including those two with our equals there. To graph it then, since x could be any number in between 1 and 3, it could be this number, 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 this number, this number. There's an infinite number of answers that could be a, a possible solution here. And we want to show all infinite numbers of them, all infinity uh, answers. And the way we do that is with this graph. We say that it could be exactly 1, it could be exactly 3, or any number in between. And that line gives us all infinite possibilities. And that's how we set up these inequalities. 